representation of rational numbers on the number line. So we have two three methods. So one simple technique we'll see how to represent any rational number on the number line. Okay, for example, let us take one question. Represent one by two. Or let us take for example uh, one by two minus three by two and minus five by three. 4 divided by 3 on a number line so if you get the questions like this to represent on the number line so first we know how to represent the integers on the number line right already if you draw the line first of all we need to mark the zero at the same center and from this so right side is positive values 1 2 3 so on And left side is minus one, minus two, minus three, so on. So till infinity, this side and LHS and uh, right side and uh, left side. Now in this, we to represent this particular number. For example, one by two or minus three by two. So based on the denominator, we can take the step. For example, first question is one by two. So it is the denominator is two. Because of denominator is two. In zero, one, one, two, two, three. This is the one, one unit. Okay, let it be. This is the O, and is A, B, C, so on. This is the A dash, B dash, C dash, so on. That means C dash to B dash exactly equals to B dash A dash equals to A dash to O. That is equals to O A and A B is equals to B C, so on. That means distance between every A point to point integer points are equal. Now to represent uh, uh, fractions or rational numbers to represent on the number line, according to denominator we have to take the step. First problem denominator is two, right? So between zero, one, one, two, two, three, we should make into two parts. Okay, let us see here. Let me take one more. Now this is the number line. Center is zero. And it says one, two, three. Maintain the same distance by using the scale. So to represent min one by two minus three by two, first one one by two. Denominator is two, right? So because of the denominator is two, between zero to one we need to make we have to make into two parts. One. So this is a one two parts again here. So between every two number every number. Make into two equal parts. To represent is one by two now from the zero right side because of the positive value it is from the zero. The numerator is one. One means the first point. So the first point is one by two. So this is one by two now. Okay, exactly. So you can write the top. This is exactly uh, equals to one by two. This number. And see the next one, minus three by two. So minus three by two is a negative one. This also denominator is two, right? So between every two, every point, zero uh, to one, one to two, two to three, according to the denominator, that many parts you do it first. So already two two parts has done. Now numerator is minus three. Minus three means from the zero left side three points. So till here is one, two, three. Now this is. Minus three by two, right? This point is minus three by two. And third, fourth question, see observance. Minus five by three and four by three. Denominator is three now. Okay, this right side I am doing. So what we should do? First of all, we should take the number line. In this number line, represent zero. And here we can take this so one, two. And this left side minus one, minus two, so on, right? So because of denominator is three, we need to make uh, three equal parts between every point to point between zero and one. Three equal parts. So right. So one, two, three, three gaps exactly. Two lines if we can make three, uh, three parts will come. Same here also one, two. Just you can three equal parts you can make between. Zero, one, one, two, or minus one, minus two, zero to minus one. Now, based on the after according to the denominator, we should make the parts. 
Now according to the numerator, we should find out the point position because of minus y it is right. So from the 0, we should go for the left side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, fifth place. So this is the position. This is minus 5 by 3. Next one is the last one is 4 by 3. Same because of denominator is 3. 3 equal parts are done and numerator is 4. Okay, numerator is 4. From the 0 right side, 4 parts, 4th line. Don't say this 1, 2, 3 now. So this is the first line, second, third, four. This is right. This is the four by three. Okay, this is the way. This is one of the simple way. Whenever based on the denominator, you can make into parts according to the numerator, find the position of that number. Okay, so this is the way we can represent any number, any uh, fraction or rational number on the number line. So this is the one of the easy way we can do in this right. Next, we'll see how to represent, uh, so how to insert the numbers between two rational numbers, how to find out another numbers, we'll find out now.